Um, uh, are you having a nice time? Yeah. Oh, good. Uh, well, my show is called Tom Allen Toughens Up. Uh, because I've realised it's quite a rough, caustic world out there. Uh, and I'm sort of telling the show from my position as a gay man. Uh, and I am a gay man. Did I need to explain that? <laughs> These shirts don't wear themselves. Uh, and, and I think a lot of people assume that gay men can be quite confident and quite uh, overbearing and over sexualized the sort of people who engage in bondage and water sports, you know, where people wee on each other during sex. I don't know about anybody here, but I can't wee if I can hear voices. <laughs> Sometimes I have to whistle. Uh, and uh, I think, like, I've got, like, one straight friend said to me, Tom, uh, you must know about internet dating because you're gay. Uh, and it's true, there is this organisation set up by the government called Gaydar. <laughs> and, which is a bit like Facebook for gays, often without the face. <laughs> and it, the difference between, uh, you know, what she would be using, which would be Match.com, and what I would use, which would be Gaydar, is that on Match.com it'll say things like, what are you into? And people will put country walks, European cinema, cookery. On Gaydar it'll say, what are you into? People will put fisting, <laughs> breath control, gas masks, waders. Some people like to have sex with waders on. Now, I don't know much about fly fishing, but I think waders come up to about here, don't they? I don't know how you'd have sex with waders on, unless you have very sensitive shoulders. <laughs> Which actually I do. And like, I went to a very rough school as well. Did anybody here go to a rough school? Yeah, you sounded quite posh. I don't mean like the governess was sometimes in a bad mood. <laughs> I mean like a rough school. At, and it's only kind of when you look back, I think, that you realise these things. Like, I remember this one incident waiting I was waiting at the school gates with my friend Gemma, waiting to be picked up. This might offend some of you. I'm waiting to be picked up at the school gates, and Gemma's mum appeared in her car, saw her, wound down the window, and shouted, Here, Gemma, where have you been? I've been waiting up the end of the road like a cunt. <laughs> Gemma, I think your mother is here. <laughs> she was just as posh as I was. Toodle Tom, toodle Gemma. Have a nice evening. And I get things like, oh, it's only because you're such a little prick that we got to kick the shit out of you. That was just the dinner ladies. <laughs> and, uh, and, and as well, a lot of the time at school, like, people will be horrible to each other all the time, especially the boys. Like, the boys on the football team would always be like, oh, pass me the ball, dickhead. Oh, all right, period face. <laughs> horrible. People are horrible to each other, even if they like each other. And they, like, I remember once I got called a shit-stabbing penis pirate. <laughs> Which, if anything, is quite poetic, really. It has to be applauded. And I, I do realise that it's not just it's not just gay people who have this kind of caustic world they live in. I know it can happen to straight people as well. I realised this on Valentine's Day. Uh, I was walking across Waterloo Bridge, uh, which of course has the fabulous view of St Paul's on one side and St Big Ben on the other. And there was this couple standing there in their fleeces. And she had her arm outstretched with the camera, trying to take a photograph of both of them, and she was clearly struggling a bit because as I walked past, all I heard was him shout, Oh, just give it to me, you spastic! <laughs> and I realised that I have never truly been in love. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I am at 7.30 at the Guild of the Loon, um, uh, in a small, sort of quite warm room, like an airing cupboard. Uh, uh, but, so if you are cold up there, do come and see me. It would be nice to see you too. And uh, have a nice evening. Thanks. Bye.